thousands. Here's another new initiative. It's designed to make better use of waste food that would otherwise be thrown away. And it's come from one of Britain's biggest supermarkets. Of the 15 million tons of food and drink wasted in the UK every year, almost half is thrown away by consumers. But that still leaves an awful lot of food being binned without ever being sold at all. Manufacturers and caterers are kind for much of that, but nearly 400,000 tons of food a year is wasted by shops. And a lot of you feel that that simply should never happen. I do think supermarkets waste a lot of food. Potentially, that amount could be huge on a daily or weekly basis, really. You look at the products which are on the shelves, and most of them only got a sell by of a, of a day or so. And I'm thinking, well, how can they possibly get you rid of all that food when there's only a day or two to go? Supermarkets are reasonably fine-tuned to avoid waste. It costs them money, after all. But there are still plenty of products that fail to make the tins ring. At Sainsbury's, the man in charge of managing the problem is head of sustainability. That's Paul Crew. So he understands exactly why so much supermarket food ends up going to waste. Products that we have too many of, things like bakery and bread, and through to meat and to fish. Some products arrive with miscoded labels, which means we're no longer able to sell them because it will be illegal to sell them. Around 26% of the food wasted in the UK is binned by food manufacturers, which many of them blame on the supermarket's reluctance to buy wonky or less attractive veg. The Paul says that at Sainsbury's, that is not the case. We make sure that even though they're wonky, they're still beautifully tasting, and so we do put them into a basics range for customers to actually purchase from us. Sainsbury's claim that none of its unsold food is wasted. And despite what you might think, food discarded by the big supermarkets doesn't simply end up in the bin. In common with Tesco and Asda, none of the waste from Sainsbury's goes to landfill. As we're looking through the product and checking the dates at the same time, we might come across products like this that have actually been damaged. That one is obviously unfit for sale because we're not sure of the integrity of the product. These would then get put into the back and then taken back to the depot. All of this waste food is put to good use, with some of it being used in an extraordinary way that you probably never would have guessed. We have a zero waste to landfill policy, which means absolutely nothing in Sainsbury's goes to landfill. Everything that we have is put to positive use. And food waste is a vitally important part of that process. Firstly, if we cannot give it to charity to be eaten, we put it into animal feed. If it can't go into animal feed, we absolutely put it into an opportunity to create energy from waste. Yes, sir, you heard it right. It's turned into energy. Because while some of its rivals also have ingenious ways of utilising the leftovers, the Sainsbury's branch in Cannock is the first supermarket in the country to use the food it wastes to directly provide power for both itself and for homes as well. They've teamed up with a local waste company to help turn the food they throw away into a gas that can be used for energy. Morning, sir. All right, good to see you. Ian Wakeland is the chief executive of Biffa, the company helping Sainsbury's turn its waste bread rolls and broccoli into lights and heating. We take that food waste, we create power from here, and then we installed an electric cable for a kilometre back to the store so we're able to power the store using the electricity generated by their food. It's been a great partnership and is, as I understand it, unique in the country. The waste from the store is delivered on trucks to the waste processing centre. And it's there that the food is crushed up, mixed with water, making a sort of soup. In the next chamber, bacteria is then added, which digests the waste food, creating a biogas. Then finally, this gas is sent to the turbines, which burn it and create electricity. As well as the heat and the electricity, we also generate compost and liquid compost, which is then spread back onto farmland as a fertiliser. While retailers are responsible for around 3% of the food wasted in the UK, restaurants and pubs account for around twice that. This plant helps turn food waste from some of these into fuel as well. The spoiled beer, wine and other alcohol, especially welcome. Waste alcohols are fantastic. They help us create a lot more gas than just standard food waste. Each day we receive around 250 tonnes of waste. That is around about 30 trucks worth of food waste. A huge 
1.5 kilometer cable carries the energy that's made back to the Sainsbury store. And any excess that's not used by the store is fed back into the national grid to power homes. While this is an unusual setup for now, Ian reckons there's plenty of scope for many more of us to end up having our homes powered by the food that supermarkets throw away. There actually aren't very many plants like this across the country. We estimate there's currently 14 million tonnes of food waste created in the UK every year, but only about 500,000 tonnes, or half a million, of that is created into energy currently. I think there's huge opportunity for this across the country. I mean, this one plant generates enough power to power 15,000 houses. In the next five to ten years, I think we could see millions of houses powered potentially by food waste. In the meantime, for many of the shoppers here, discovering that the store's unwanted food waste could have been transformed into power to cook their dinner is an unexpected but very welcome surprise. I am surprised that my house could be running on food waste, yes. I think if Sainsbury's are using all the food waste to power the electricity, that's a really good thing. To realise that yeah, I could be boiling my kettle with power that's been generated from food waste from our local supermarket, that would be something that I think that, that would be great, really. You shouldn't have so much waste food in the first place. To at least if the food is being sort of over, over sourced, over produced, at least it's still being put to some sort of use at the end of the day. Yeah.